Officially, the objective of Crokinole is to score more points than your opponent. Unofficially, the objective is to make your shots awesome and exciting and leave your opponent with super frustrating shots. My name is Jeremy Tracy of Tracy Boards. We are the official board builders of the World Crokinole Championships. And in this video, you are going to pick up what you need to know to get started playing the greatest game on earth. You will also find this helpful when it's time for you to start teaching your friends and family how to play this great game. Usually you play Crokinole with either two or four players. Let's start by explaining two-player Crokinole. Sit directly across from your opponent with eight buttons each. You'll have your buttons on the table beside the board. One player takes one button of each color, mixes them up, the opponent picks a hand. Whichever color they pick, that's who starts. You will take turns shooting each of your eight buttons one time only. Valid shots will stay on the board. Invalid shots will go into the ditch. Once each player has shot all eight buttons, you will add up any points that are left in play because they were valid shots that didn't get knocked off. This circle is worth five, 10, 15, and 20. When a player sinks a 20, it is taken out immediately and set aside to open up that hole for other people to sink their 20s. Each shot must start touching the shooting line somewhere in your quadrant and be shot with a flicking motion. We have an entire video going through all of the flicking styles that you have to choose from. There are two situations that each has its own separate valid shot rule. Situation one, on your turn, if there is an opponent's button on the board anywhere, you must contact it. If you make contact, it's a valid shot. If you don't, your shot was invalid. Didn't touch the opponent, invalid goes in the ditch. That shot touched the opponent, so it's technically valid, but it ended in the ditch. That's where it stays. That touched the opponent, so it's valid. Your button stays, but so does your opponent. More satisfying, valid shot, yours stays, and your opponent is in the ditch, worth zero points. More satisfying, you knocked your opponent off and moved yours into a higher point region even all the way into a 20. But again, all you have to do for your shot to be valid is touch your opponent. You will want to knock them all the way into the ditch. You may want to move yours in further, worth more points, but all you have to do to be valid is make contact. You are allowed to combo through your own. That is a valid shot. But if you were to contact your own and not make contact with your opponent, both of yours go in the ditch. To be clear, if you make an invalid shot like that, yes, that button is invalid and goes off, but other buttons of yours that are on the board don't come off unless you make contact with them. So if you make a blunder like this, these come off, that one stays. If when it's your turn, your opponent has more than one button on the board, there is no rule about which one you have to hit. By all means, you are allowed to try to hit both, but in order to make a valid shot, you must make contact with an opponent's disc during your shot. Now you sit down to teach your friends how to play this great game. Once you've gone through the basics, here are some questions I guarantee you they're going to ask. They're going to say, hey, what if my opponent is way on the other side of the board? Yep, got to hit it. The next question you'll get, but what if it's right behind a peg? <laughs> Good luck. Then the question I guarantee you will get, they will say, what if my opponent is on the other side of the board and I sink a 20? If you do not make contact with an opponent during your shot, it does not matter where your button ends up. 5, 10, 15, 20, doesn't matter. It goes in the ditch because it was invalid. You may be wondering, what if there's no opponent's button on the board? In that situation, you must play to the middle. That means your button has to end up within this circle or at least touching the line. If you come up short, 
Or if you shoot long, that is not valid and goes in the ditch. Now, to determine if a button is touching this line or not, it is not how it looks from above, it is how it looks from the side. If the bottom bevel of this button is even barely touching that line, it is valid and stays on the board. Here's something that new players often get confused about. If there is an opponent's button on the board, play to the middle does not apply. It's not like you have to hit them off and end up in the middle. Two different situations, two different valid shot rules. Once both players have shot all eight buttons, it's time to add up the points and see who won the round. You will add up any points left in play as well as any 20s that have been sunk and set aside. Whoever has the most points wins that round. Again, circles are worth 5, 10, 15, 20. And if a button is touching a line, it is worth the lower point region. Even if it's barely touching, this would be worth 5 points. So if during play, during your round, a button ends up touching this outermost line, it would be worth zero points. So here's what you do. You remove it immediately so that it doesn't interfere with later shots. Each round is worth two points. So if you win that round, you get two points. If you lose, it's zero. If you happen to tie, you each get one point. It doesn't matter if you win a round by five points or 105 points. That win is worth two points. You're now winning 2-0. The next round, whoever shot first in the first round, their opponent will shoot first in the second round. Take turns shooting first regardless of who wins a round. You are going to play four rounds of Crokinole, at which point you could be 8-0, so somebody got skunked. You could be 7-1, 6-2, 5-3, and yes, you could be tied 4-4. If you are tied, Keep playing in order to break that tie and determine the winner. Four player Crokinole is very similar, but now you're going to sit directly across from your partner and you will each have six buttons of the same color. Your opponents will sit to your left and right. They will each have six buttons that is of a color that is different than yours. You will play clockwise around the board all the same valid shot and scoring rules apply. And remember, officially, the objective is to score more points than your opponents, and unofficially, the rule is to leave them with super frustrating shots. That is 90% of the official rules of Crokinole. If you're a seasoned veteran, you're probably sitting there saying, yeah, but what about the spinning disc rule? What about the damage rule? Hey, Jerry, you didn't even mention the one cheek rule. And you're absolutely right. What you just watched is how we teach people who are brand new to the game enough to get started. If you are interested to dig in and drill deep on those nuancy rules, Go to our YouTube channel and check out things like Crokinole's Most Confusing Rule, the Damage Rule, and also go to Crokinole Center and watch the pros play to see Crokinole played at the highest level of skill and strategy. For now, that is all you need to know to get started playing the greatest game on earth.